Symbol on the collar. Gail, is this one yours? <laughs> it is. It's Tara. What's she doing all the way out here? <laughs> hey. Mr. Dakarios, heavens. Fancy seeing you here. Tara. That can't be you, can it? I suppose you won't be terribly shocked to find your old friend Tara amongst the pigeons. They've always been a personal favorite. <laughs> oh my, is that a ring? For us? Oh, you shouldn't have. Enjoy yourself now, Tara. Looks like you've got yourself set up quite nicely here. Oh. She isn't my Trezim. She's my friend. And from the looks of things, it appears she's eating pigeons. <laughs> oh, right. Wait, Asterion disapproves? Um, stop it. Oh, no. Oh, these must be important birds indeed, Mr. Dakarios. Forgive me for feasting on their bodies and bones so very voraciously. Oh, she's agreed. Just about. Wait, a bookseller. She can point us at a tome I need. This is hardly the time for idle banter. The annals of Carsus are here. Ah, you sound like a nerd. <laughs> All right, let's go to the bookseller. environment of quiet <laughs> bold you might have heard that our library has a collection other shops would lack the skill to curate between us even master Lerokin was reluctant to house them in his town they're locked away here for their and our customers safety our finest reserve includes mm. the Tharkia Codex the Annals of Carsis and Leathery's Folly Sights of the Sealy and the curriculum of strategy. Do any of those interest you? Uh. It is said to be written by Lord Carsis himself, the Netherese Arcanist who attempted to replace the goddess Mistra, great mag. That's it. That's what I need. The annals of Carsis would no doubt have much to say about the crown's true nature. If only by. Books as temporary uh. as these are not on sale. They are secured in our vault, where none consider yourself lucky to have learned of such a book's existence, and then forget about it. The annals of Carsus are best left unread. Okay, just I don't wanna char I don't wanna waste a spell slot just to charm her. I mean, okay, whatever. If I mess this up, I don't even know. Okay. Yeah, that should be a success right there. Customers like you are why I prefer the company of books. The only way to gain access to the vault is through my office. And before you ask, no, you are not allowed in there. I, I already told you. It, <laughs> you said. Invisibility. Very, very quiet. It's a mild glass. Come on. Is this a signed copy? Oh, by Volos Abgedar himself. How delightful. I simply must have it. Keep your hands to yourself. Chocolate? 
Yep. All right. Shadow Heart, you distract him. I thought she said it was in a vault, not in a portal. Ooh. Wait, but then okay. Never mind, we're good. Storage and sorting of scroll work, parchment, and tomes. I'm not sure if we need to continue. Sneaking or whatever. Okay, we might have to try another area. Yeah, let's try the other door. Asterion, you know what to do. Wait. left a trap out for us. Each door named after a wizard of renown. Someone's left a trap. The animals must be behind Carthus's door. Yeah, I'll just get rid of Let's get rid of all these real quick. Picking impossible. Oh, is it knock? Okay, silver hand, I guess. Watch carefully. Some trap doesn't like visitors. Someone's left a trap out for us.
on Netherese magic. Gail might like to know. Okay, Gail, we found your book. The Annals of Carsus. The preamble to a civilization's downfall, committed to parchment by the very hand that wrought its destruction. The truth of the crown, I hope. All that stands between us and enlightenment is the turn of a page. Yeah, uh, give it to him. I'm not even looking at it. This is much more. The crown of Carsus. And this. Huh? This is no mere journal. It contains Carsus's original plans for the crown's construction, his designs for godhood. Designed for self destruction, more like it. Didn't this crown kill Carsus? Uh. A design you could follow? Mm, not from scratch. Unless you happen to have several pounds of the purest Netherese metals in that pack of yours. Don't worry. I'm not asking you to surrender anything else on my account. <laughs> anything else? What's called for here is something altogether different. The book states that the crown and nether stones were originally one construct, seemingly sundered at the moment of Carsus's downfall. If we can collect the crown setting and the three nether stones, and with the correct invocation of certain spells and gestures detailed in these notes, I think I could reforge it. What? Uh. You think? What happens if you fail? Well, there'd be risk in such an endeavor, but only proportionate to the reward. Just think of it. The power of the gods in mortal hands at last would be free of doctrine and dogma, confined only by the limits of our imaginations. I promise you, the gods will never grant us such a blessing, no matter how much we worship and adore them. Hmm. And you think Mr. will let you do this? I don't know. Ao does not look kindly on gods meddling in mortal affairs. She may have no choice but to stand by and let events unfold. Who's Even Ao? With the fate of the world at stake. She had little more to offer me than the means of blowing myself up at a more convenient time. She's done nothing to help us. Mistral oh wanted boy. her brain obliterated because of this crown. She fears a world in which such power is beyond her control. Ready to be claimed by Carsus' successor. Or to destroy. And you believe yourself to be that successor? Not until this moment. But I can't help beginning to see such a destiny unfold before me. Powerful as he was, Carsus lacks some advantages I can lay claim to. I know Mistra intimately, and I carry a fragment of the weave itself within my body. Cast has achieved many things, hmm. but he never managed that. A long road lies ahead before the crown comes into our possession. All I ask for now is that you do not dismiss this possibility out of hand. Please, at least think on it. Hmm. You're convincing, man. The crown sounds promising. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. I see. I suppose I am asking you to take a leap of faith. Even the most loyal of companions might struggle to land gracefully. I've spent so long feeling inferior. Shut
shut out from my destiny. Um, such a simple, come on, don't be like that. Youthful enthusiasm. Perhaps I got carried away with the thought this crown could give me back what Mistra took. Cure me. Even. Hmm. You're still destined for greatness, Gale, but you won't find it chasing Karsus's shadow. You're right. There aren't many wizards who'd care to be mentioned in the same breath as him, or his folly. Thank you for letting me read this. At least we can face our enemy armed with the knowledge of its true nature, and of the stakes, should we fail to defeat it. Hmm. Well, wait, what? Oh, I guess it was a blue one. Uh, 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 uh. Hold very still, Niklaw. Uh, Crank's aim is much improved, but uh, still leave something up to chance. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh... Crank. Ready? Aim. Oh. Hmm. We have a visitor. That is. McClaw, you may go. <laughs> He's like, thank God. Surely you wouldn't have wasted my time. Uh, night song's not a thing. Huh. Fascinating. You've been to Shah's temple, haven't you? To the Shadowfell? Uh, you speak as those you sing the night song yourself. Alas, I've paid for a good deal of very privileged information. Now I await the results of the generous contract I've commissioned. Answer now, or see what happens when fools misuse my valuable time. Yeah. You know what? Let's be violent. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, so we murdered him. Oh, that nearly ended me. You have any opinions? Uh, where's healing word? What's this? We could have on the. Oh. Look at that. Hey, Elminster. What up? Elminster? Oh, hello, my boy. No, don't mind me. I'm just enjoying a lungful of bull dairy on air. <laughs> yeah, there's a distinctive aroma, though perhaps not one worthy of bottling. I hear you've been browsing in the most esteemed of Emporium's sorcerous sundries. 
Uh, indulge my curiosity. What wonders did you discover there? Uh. That was, it proved to be an enlightening read. So, you have learned the truth of the enemy we face. The very tool with which its eponymous creator unmade magic itself. Perhaps now you understand what is at stake here, my boy. Though what Mr. asked of you was extreme, it was not without merit, nor demanded lightly. What are you saying? Or rather, what are you not saying? Mister knows you defied her, Gail. Well, of course she knows. She's Mistra. <laughs> she bids you come to her holy shrine in the Stormshore Tabernacle. There, she will grant you an audience at last. Oh, boy. You think she'll be willing to hear him out? I see remaining optimistic is my duty. Especially when I'm not the one being asked to do the seemingly impossible. Trust in yourself. Trust in the weave. If you are willing, trust in Mistra. There is a conclusion yet to be written in this sorry tale, Gale of Waterdeep. And yours is the quill that will write it. Oh boy. Uh, I guess we're gonna meet your ex. Go ahead. I'm listening. Of course. Uh. Wait, am I following you? Hey, well, there's what's up. Fate, dost thou require a new ally? Hmm. Am I just following you? Oh. I don't know where you're going, Gail. I'm just gonna, okay, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna grab Carlac. Hey, Carlac. I couldn't help overhearing what Elminster said to Gail. Not every day a god asks for a chat. Hey, maybe I'm invited too. I can be the muscle. Let's go, go, go. Okay, I love Carlac. My ideal party would be me, well, Asterion, Shadowheart, Carlac, and Gale. But we can't have a fifth, a fifth spot, sadly. Hey! Mother's milk, your visage speaks of ill tidings. Speak, ally mine. What troubles you? Uh... Yeah. Is he indeed? Pray tell, what does he seek from Dame Aelin? Uh. All I know is that he put out a contract for your capture. <laughs> Magicians and their machinations. I have had enough for an eternity. I will wring his neck. Until he's dead. Damn. Let's take him down to get her. His end will be one more strand in the great braid of our friendship. I'm coming with you. I'd like to get a few licks in myself. My darling, we agreed you'd scout for the nearest Salunite enclave this very night. Let us divide our efforts. All the sooner to be reunited. I won't let you go alone. Who knows what this wizard might have planned? Our closest ally will accompany me, won't you? 
It will be a swift and fruitful chore. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Hi, we to this Laroican right away. I am as eager to meet him as he is to ensnare me. Okay. Man, it's been a while. Okay. If you're not, if you don't play D and D, if you're just like, if you just like Baldur's Gate, I don't blame you. But I love playing as an Asimar. Oh boy. Okay, time to meet Mistra. There she stands, just as Elminster promised. Mistra, goddess of the weave, mother of all magic. Damn, Gail. Lying. She's opened the summoning channel. Can't you feel it? Gail's right. The very air around the statue crackles with magic. It sets your teeth on edge. A stream of pure, undiluted weave. I only have to reach out, and it will carry me to Mistra, wherever she may be. An audience with your goddess can go wrong. I should know. Hmm. But do whatever you feel is best, Gail. Time was I'd have given my right arm for a chance to speak with Mister again. <laughs> the left one, too. <laughs> Maybe a knee. <laughs> yeah, she asked you to blow yourself up. Thankfully not. No, she's not been averse to demanding the odd human sacrifice in recent days, has she? When I pictured this moment, I thought I'd feel more in control. Yet, yeah, here I am, with palms sweatier than a bugbear's armpit. I always wonder what being nervous would feel like. I hate it. <laughs> Do you know what you're going to say to her? During time locked away in Waterdeep, I prepared a quite comprehensive speech for her on the subject of our former relationship and the manner in which it ended. Alas, recent events have rendered the majority of it moot, so I'm going to have to improvise. Unless you have any words of wisdom to impart before I go. Uh, you're not taking me with you? The summoning channel Mistra has provided is one only I can enter. No matter how much I prefer not to face her alone. Don't give anything away, just find out what she has to say. You'd make a fine three dragon anti player, you know? I think it's best I keep a cool head going into this. Approach it like a particularly high risk round of three dragon anti. I'll let Mistress show her flight, and then I can see how strong a chance we stand of winning the gambit. I'll only be gone for a matter of moments. The outer planes experience time quite differently to our own. Wait for me. Please. Uh, okay. Oh, we're going to see they things from his perspective. Deep. You look well. As do you. But I assume we're not here solely to exchange compliments. So why am I here? You discovered what lies at the heart of the Absolute. The Crown of Causes. And you disobeyed my instruction. Why? Because you had no right to ask that of me. You cast <laughs> me out. Remember. You were my lover. My chosen. Yet still you know so little of me. The past cannot be undone with self-pity, nor can a future be forged. Only with the truth will you see the way ahead. The fragment of magic you tried to return to me was not of my creation. It was the Carsite Weave. Car it is a weave? corrupted, half-born magic wrought in the brief moment Carsus ascended to godhood. 
It hungers for power, just as he did, and it can never be sated. You unleashed something that would consume all magic in existence, and yet you thought only of preserving yourself. Hey! So that's what you're scared of. With the crown of Carsus reforged, I could take control of the Carsite Weave. You can no more control the Carsite Weave than a weather vane could control a storm. That it entered your body and consumed no more than your powers was a miracle. But we will not be granted another. The only reason the orb sleeps is because I have allowed it to feed on the true weave. A temporary measure, but one that will not be enough to save us. With each day that passes, the Elder Brain threatens to become a new kind of god. Its worshippers, a scourge of soulless hmm. methods. If you will not use the orb to end this abomination, then you must find a way to separate crown and host. When you've done this, you must surrender the crown of Carsis to me. A great ask indeed. You've given me much to think on, as you always did. So be it. Follow the needle of your own wisdom. We shall see how truly it leads you. Yeah, Mister is kind of a bitch. You all right? Back on mortal soil once more. I can't believe I saw her. After all this time. Um. And what you felt was but the slightest drop drawn from the rushing torrent that is the weave. I confess, now my former prowess, even I struggle to stand her presence. The effects on the mortal body of such unfettered magical exposure cannot be overestimated. She held back in order to protect us, to make sure I heard her. The Carsite weave within me this whole time. Uh, the car the orb I'm still confused about that. Ball of magic before it to be Carsus's malignant creation. Gods! How did I not see that? Um. But I should have known. What right had I to go about declaring myself an archmage when I was as foolish as a common apprentice in setting such an entity loose? At least now I'm armed with the truth and Mistress' expectations. It sounds like the door to redemption is open at last. All I have to do is walk through it, carrying the crown of Carsus. We need to take this chance, Gale. Uh, you deserve to be cured. Thank you. There aren't many I'd trust to stand beside me on such a journey. If you were still, who would do so because they believed I deserved such a chance. If I could promise you one thing in return for your faith in me, it's this. I will use everything in my power to ensure we defeat this evil. I will not let you down. How do you guys feel? Wow. So that was Mistra. Pretty spectacular stuff. But I think Gail was right not to agree to do her bidding, no questions asked. I respect the gods, but they don't always understand what they're asking of us. Maybe immortality makes it hard to know what it's like to be one of us piggies. Proud of Gail, though. <laughs> it takes some man to hold his own in front of the divine. How do you feel? <laughs> so, Gale's hedging his bets with Mistra? I blame him. Who'd want to hold a power like the Crown of Carsus in their hands just to hand it to someone else? I know what my decision would be, but we're all different, of course. Hmm. 
Mistra has forsaken Gale entirely. A crushing blow. But he is strong enough to persevere, I think. Mm, yeah, let's hope so. All right, let's go watch. <laughs> let's go watch uh, our buddy kick that wizard's ass. <laughs> 